I'm in a vintage movie You always know what to say and how to move me Load me up into your car, take a drive now Travel down the open road, it's paradise now Do you want to know a secret? I'll let you in if you keep it Life with you is such a breeze and you give everything to my bad boss. Okay. One, two. I'll start with a 1902 Centenary Carrigan. Nice. Okay, predictions. predictions. How many books are we going to buy? I think I'm going to buy three. I think I'm going to buy five. Oh, rogue. But I would buy five if I didn't have oh. to bring them home on the plane. True. Then I would buy five. I'm going to buy five. Okay. Prediction. It's literally been like a month I think since I filmed those last clips and went to London and met up with Em and I'm only just now filming the book haul because I've only just got the chance now. Um, so you will have seen from the clips that I went to London, met up with Em from Packet Paperbacks, my bestie who I always meet up with um, and we went book shopping in London and it was such a good day. I think I said in the clips that I was planning on buying five books. I ended up buying six. Um, very successful day. I've actually already read three of them, so <laughs> good for me. Um, but I'm just going to show you what books I bought in London. The first book I picked up was Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I actually, hold on. First of all, I bought all of these books from Waterstones Piccadilly, um, which is a huge waterstones and it was really cool there um so i couldn't help but pick up six books i didn't buy books from anywhere else so yeah the first book i picked up is indigo ridge by Daphne perry i was actually reading this book at the time that i went to london um and i really wanted it physically i hadn't seen it physically before and they had it in waterstones that waterstones was the it was the best romance section in a waterstones that i've ever seen it was so good and they had so many good books um so i picked up indigo ridge this is the first book in the eden series um and it's basically like a romance and also a like mystery series <laughs> so this one follows um griffin who is one of the edens and winslow who is the new chief of police it's like a small town the edens sort of like run the town everyone knows the edens um, so yeah, it was a romance between Winslow and Griffin, along with, obviously she's the chief of police, there was like a murder mystery alongside it as well. Um, this book was really good, I think I gave it four stars, maybe even five, I think I gave it four. Um, but yeah, I do want to get the rest of the books in the series, but like, I'm in the middle of so many series right now that I don't know when I'm ever going to get to this. And then I got The Kiss of Deception by Mary e. e. Pearson. I think this is a YA fantasy. I honestly haven't heard much about it. All I know is that Sarah likes it and that was enough to convince me. Um, it says, in a society steeped in tradition, Princess Leah's life follows a preordained course. As first daughter, she's expected to have the revered gift of sight, which she doesn't, and to happily marry a prince she has never met, which she won't. On the morning of her wedding, Leah flees to a distant village. She settles into her new life, hoped for when two mysterious and handsome strangers arrive, and unaware that one is the prince she was meant to marry and the other an assassin sent to kill her. As deceptions swell, Leah finds herself on the brink of unlocking perilous secrets, secrets that may unravel her world even as she begins falling in love. Oh, it sounds so good. This is like almost 500 pages, um, which is terrifying to me. Actually, it might be 500 pages um but i'm really really into fantasy at the minute specifically fantasy romance so i just can't wait to pick this one up um next i picked up my dark romeo by parker s huntington and lj shen um em spoke about this a bit in her video that she did but 
every time me and Emma are in a bookstore and we see that there's just two of a book left, we get a bit delusional and think, well, we must buy it because there's only two copies. So it was obviously meant here for us, like it was put here for us. So if there's ever just two books left on a shelf, me and Emma will buy them. <laughs> so we both got My Dark Romeo. Um, it says some Romeos deserve to die. It was supposed to be a harmless kiss at a lavish debutante ball, a clandestine moment with a handsome stranger. But unlike his namesake, my Romeo isn't driven by love, he's fueled by revenge. To him, I'm a chess piece, leverage, his rival's betrothed. To me, he is a man deserving of poison, a dark prince I refuse to marry. He thinks I'll accept my fate, well, I plan to rewrite it. And in my story, Juliet doesn't die, but Romeo, he perishes damn <laughs> that is terrifying hold on the screens being in the background is annoying me so i'm just gonna move um but yeah this is also a huge romance as well this is like almost 500 pages too um i've heard really mixed things about this one honestly mostly bad things which does make me a bit terrified to pick it up but i also have this on kindle unlimited so i could also read it on my kindle but that's the third book i've got and then the next three books two of them i've actually already read in a video and that is the um sinners duet by sophie lark there is no there are no saints and there is no devil um yeah i've already read both of these books and it's a duology it is a very very dark romance um it follows cole blackwell and mara and they're both artists and cole is like this um, more well-known artist and it's really dark definitely look up the trigger warnings i don't want to read the blabs because honestly i don't even want to think about these books anymore um yeah look up the trigger warnings and the content warnings because these books are insane but i've read them so there's that um and then finally i also picked up another sophie lark and it is brutal prince which is the first book in this the brutal birthright series i've heard better things about this book i actually hadn't heard anything about the sinners duet but i have heard a lot about this series i think it's a mafia series um mafia dark romance i've actually heard great things about this series so we'll see if it's better than the other one um it says the griffins and the gallows have been battling for control of chicago's underworld for generations their rivalry has always been flammable, but it reignites with a fury when Ada, the youngest and wildest Gallo sibling, crashes a party at the Griffin Mansion and accidentally sets fire to the library. To stave off an all-out war, her father quickly arranges a marriage between her and Callum Griffin, eldest son and heir to the Irish Mafia. Mafia. <laughs> Cold and ambitious and brutal, Callum is determined to tame his headstrong new bride, but Ada is more than capable of giving as good as she gets, starting with poisoning Callum on their wedding night. The problem is, murdering him would be a lot easier if he didn't look so good while she was trying to do it. She's got a lockbox around her heart, he's got something to prove. In their struggle for dominance, who will go up in flames first? Okay, this book actually sounds very good. It sounds better than the other series um, by Sophie Lark that I read. I honestly don't know if it's as dark. Please, if you've read this, please let me know how dark it is there's no content warnings in the beginning which gives me hope so we'll see but also the cover is just stunning and i really would love to have all of those books on my shelf because it would just look so good these are the six books that i bought in london with m i really love book shopping in london but it's so hard to get them all home because i live like two hours away from london um it's just not fun having to carry them around london all day but i did really enjoy myself and yeah this is my london book haul honestly i've bought so many more books since i've been to london as well i was going to do like a huge book haul but i wanted to keep the london clips in so i just thought i'd just do a london book haul maybe i'll do a big book haul at the end of the month but we'll see but these are the six books i bought in london um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>